The housing market is slumping, prices are way down, but assessments on average are up. What's going on? It's a question a lot of Spokane County homeowners are asking right now. KXLY 4's McKay Allen is live with us tonight. McKay, oh, what can you do if you disagree with your assessment? Not a whole lot. The deadline to file an official complaint has already passed, but you can call the assessor's office and complain. They will help you there, and a lot of people have already called them. If prices in your neighborhood have been going down and the assessments are going up, there's got to be something wrong. According to the Spokane Association of Realtors, the median home price in Spokane County is down nearly 15% in the last 18 months, from $192,000 in December of 2007 to $165,000 in May. Yet the average property assessment from two years ago to now is up over 8%, and home assessments are up 3%. Does this make sense that all of a sudden your house has gone up $10,000 in value? from year to year. No. They've increased to 30,000 in two years. There's something really fundamentally wrong with it. And many, many are asking how can that be? What I found this year is that the values for a couple of my properties had increased by over $40,000, which is just absolutely impossible in this environment. One of Jeff Brown's properties is this home on Spokane's north side. Now here on the assessor's website you can see that this last year it went up from $150,000 in assessed value to $190,000 this year. The assessments, the assessor's office says, are based on comparable sales, the same type of home in the same area. The assessor's website lists comparable sales. It's a tool to help you. But for this property, the comparable sales listed are homes that are over two miles away from the property on the other side of division. The comparable sales are way off. So why is the assessor's office using homes two miles away to assess a property's value? Well, the assessor's office says they aren't. The comparable sales shown on the website are not always the same comparable sales used to assess your home, the assessor's office tells us. This then begs another question. What good is the assessor's website? A website that apparently shows you random homes miles away that their office didn't even use to assess your house. The assessor's office blames the problem on new software. And though they refuse to appear on camera for our story, they say they admit mistakes happen. I'm not sure what's happening, but you know the assessor's department basically has to do 200,000 property assessments every year with a staff of 25. But Jeff Brown says more than a few isolated mistakes occur. With housing prices down nearly 15 percent and assessments up, something fundamental, he says, is wrong. I'm thinking that maybe that software doesn't take into account sharp market turns. Uh, it's about all I can think. Now the other issue here might be lag time. The assessments you got in the mail over the last couple months were performed in 2008 and those will affect your property taxes clear in 2010. In the newsroom, McKay Allen, KXOY4HD News.